making yourself vulnerable. Because I know that's hard. It's hard enough to do that as a woman, much less with IBE. And so thank you for sharing that story because it actually can be empowering. Someone said that earlier, like they know that they na can now get through it because there's so much other stuff. When I was diagnosed with UC to Crohn's, I did lose it. Because back then in my mind, it's like, well, with, with UC, I could at least have the surgery. And with Crohn's, there's nothing. And now I know that that is not the case. My Crohn's caused my mental health to just like diminish. Just, like, and I just, like you're saying, brick wall, I felt like I was there. Like, I just, you know, felt like I didn't have a reason to live. Because there's just like, there was nobody. Like, I felt like there was nobody in this world. And now I feel like there's, look at how many people there are in this world. Like, like I lived in this bubble, and now I know that my bubble is a lot bigger than I thought it was. And I'm so grateful for that. I have an option me. I feel completely isolated, and I don't know what to do. Because sometimes I don't feel like I fit in in UOAA or other groups because mm -hmm. I technically don't have Crohn's or colitis, but everything that I experience is so similar. But you can't share that with people because it's not socially acceptable. Share it now with all of us. Exactly. <laughs> so it's nice to have somewhere to go and know that I, people I can text and message and ask this crazy, weird question that I can't ask anybody else. You know, I, I've often pushed myself to do adventurous things like the high ropes. Um, I don't think I would have pushed myself to do something like that. That was something else. And just to see the camaraderie that we built around, whether or not we could make it all the way across, that doesn't matter. The fact that you know we were there cheering each other on or helping each other even take that first step to get onto the ladder or you know those things that we had to hold on to, while we're all shaking, we're still helping each other do that. And I think that's symbolic of what this disease is and this community is, that we help each other tread the path that we don't think we should have been dealt. When I finally found Girls With Guts, I kind of was like, oh, I'm not going through all the different things people are going through. I'm just going through the loneliness. And I'm going through the fact that people who were my greatest friends in my 20s have kind of bailed on me in our 30s. I thank you for making me feel kind of accepted, even though I might not have gone through all the different surgeries or I might not have had to have all the infusions or been on all the medications you're all on. I don't feel alone anymore. And it just feels really nice to be in another country and feel connected to people. So thank you for giving me the opportunity and uh, I'm really inspired by all of your stories and by your strength and your courage and your fearlessness. I still sometimes get that look, or I still kind of have to put the mask on of, okay, I can't say this, I have to put a filter on about this, I can't talk about, especially you know, with IBD, but it, so many other little things too. And I love that we all like, not only have like niches, but we all have like similarities in some ways that is so loving and accepting, like, you know, I'm the only child, you're all my sisters now. Walking in here and leaving with very new friends. I have a support system at home, but nobody else is really sick, you know what I mean? So I'm glad that I got to come here and not be the sick one for once. And I'm glad that I got to come here and meet all you guys. And I really appreciate everyone for everything that you are. And I really appreciate you guys for making.